It's pride season. Are you ready to show off your body loud and proud? Or is a huge bush holding you back? Whoa! It's getting too big. Don't worry, sweetie. Our sponsors for today, Manscaped.com. Manscaped is the only brand dedicated to below the waist grooming. And they just dropped brand new tools for pride. What a better way to celebrate pride than to cut your unruly body hair. Prep for pride with the brand new lawnmower 4.0 and the ultra smooth package. Did somebody say smooth? That's right, we said smooth. The Manscaped Ultra Smooth Package is a three-step kit to help keep you smooth down there. Step one, Rob Exfoliator. Infused with gradients that soothe, clear, and keep the skin on and around your groin, feeling refreshed. Rob Gel. See where you're shaving with our unique clear shaving gel, just for the groin. Time to shave. The Crop Shaver will shave your groin with confident three precision blades and ultra-wide lubrication strips. Make sure you get a smooth and clear shave every time for that ultimate grooming experience. All three of these vegan, cruelty-free, and sulfate-free products you'll find in the Manscaped Ultra Smooth Package. What must I do again, Johnny? Go to manscaped.com and use the code WEED. This is the perfect pride package for you and your perfect package. Because no matter who you are, no matter where you're from, we all want to look our best and feel our best without any nicks and cuts. We don't do nicks and bumps, darling. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code QUEEN at manscaped.com. Prune your pubes for pride season with manscaped.com. Thanks, Manscaped. It's pride, not ball nicking season. You know what I mean? Look at her. Wait a minute, look over there. Who's that? Look hey. at them. Uh-huh, they're serving. It's Eureka serving. Oh. <laughs> She's glamour. Look at her. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Look at Her. The Hey Queen After Show, where our super celebrity guest looks at some of the queens they played with, slayed with, or even laid with, and spills a little tea. <laughs> oh, there's Eureka in this tea. Throws ah. a little shade, if they have to, or just tells us something that we don't know. Today's guest is the star of HBO's hit series, We're Here, Eureka O'Hara. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist, elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist. I am too ready to look at her. Yes, honey. Oh, my goodness. Eureka, thanks for being here in our yeah. season finale. Ooh, what, what? Come on. Bigger than ever. The biggest finale yet. Come on. <laughs> uh, you walked in and I said, oh, honey, you match the set. I mean, the curtains do match the drapes. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is the pink and black season, and you got the pink and black. You got the memo. I God bless. Weird? Yeah, it was our mind melt. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and thank you and hello to Erica Torralians and Adaminta Josefinta. Yes! Mm -hmm. That's not uh, Adam's real hair, uh, Eureka, just in case you were wondering. <laughs> Lies of the sea. How dare you! <laughs> I am fooled. He finally made it. Uh, Erica, I'd like you to stand up and show us this shape, this beautiful shape. <gasps> Oh, and yes. I want you to spin, this spin, is the front. sugar. Uh, and this is the back. Oh, she's Ooh, just a little kiss. Yes. <laughs> a little kiss. This That's my uh -huh. fashion, mama. Yeah. Fashion. <laughs> she, she brought out her pink and black for the last episode. Time. Yes. See? Uh, <laughs> and once again, thanks to the two of you for moving back to Los Angeles for this season just for me. I love you both. Uh, I would do anything for you, Johnny. Anything at all. Heart. Ding. Aww. Now, Eureka, honey, you've played Look It Up before and you've played it well. Ah! <laughs> Are you ready to go back into the Look It Up dome? Mother, I just had LASIK for this reason only. <laughs> <laughs> All right then, honey, let us begin. Look at her. Oh, it's your We're Ooh. Here co-star, Shangela. Hallelujah. Yeah. Gaga Live. Hallelujah. <laughs> um, Shangela, what can I say about Shangela? She is pocket size, mm -hmm. um, but dynamite. You know what I mean? It's the saying, uh, big things come in small packages. Yeah. It's definitely Shangela, Quifa, Wadley, Jackson, honey. 
Um, she is a whole lot of person, so much personality, so, such a diva, such a diva to work with, yeah. but honestly, such an amazing sister. Uh, she's been so supportive and really there for me during filming, just life in general, this pandemic. Yeah. Also, like, she is a caretaker to her mom and her grandmother, so I totally relate. Wow. Like, what a heart. You know what I mean? If you all get to check her out on social media, she's always, like, with Grandula. Yeah. Like, doing the most. <laughs> I love it. With her, like, nieces and stuff hanging out. I mean, really just the biggest heart in a person I've ever met. But also a diva. That's uh -huh. what I love about her. Yeah. You know, I think we all three on We're Here have our personalities. Mm -hmm. um, I think Bob is very much like the the bigger sister. I almost said older sister. <laughs> <laughs> She'll come through these walls, girl. <laughs> she's like, what'd you say, Eureka? Um, she's like the older sister who like kind of knows everything, super funny, you know, always on top of it. And then you've got like me, I think I'm kind of like the gullible, like kind of young <laughs> and petite, beautiful one. No, I'm just kidding. And then Shangela's like very much like the diva, I think, mm. but she's very much like a motherly diva too, though. But she is definitely a diva, mm -hmm. and um, I love her diva star quality. Yeah, you know, and it really radiates from her every set. Her set is always the cutest with like pink ruffles and sparkles and fringe and very like pageant dance talent. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, she's she's a lot of fun. What's she's a, a fun, fun memory from the shoot? Because that must have been an intense, and you guys must have been um, spending a lot of time together. You know, honestly, one of the funnest moments I had with Shangela was we were in, I want to say, Twin Falls, Idaho, maybe, and we randomly decided to go out one night, and uh, so we found, like, I guess what was their club, <laughs> and it was so interesting because it was like there was an entrance here, and you could go this way to, I guess, like, the young, like, top 40s like hit dance music area or you could go to the left where like all the lights were on and everyone was wearing cowboy hats and playing country music. Wow. It was very split in half um, but I had such a good time with her. We drank and danced and you know kind of had fun with the locals and it was a lot of fun. It was all a lot right. of fun. I can imagine. All right let's take a look at another one of your co-stars. Look out. Bob the drag queen. <laughs> No, what can I say about Bob? Big old bottom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, Bob is such an interesting person. Um, and I've gotten to know Bob by touring with her before. But I've gotten to know her in this experience on such a more personal level. Because we just work so close, hand in hand, the three of us. Um, but at the same time, the three of us also are very independent in our um, decisions and like our stories. But we kind of come together to mesh which has been very interesting with Bob because I've learned so much on how uh, to discuss like political correct topics mm. or you know how to address certain issues and things like she's just so smart and full of knowledge on how to one be authentically yourself cuz mm -hmm. she's very that but two also just be so educated and smart on how to discuss things and especially when you have a platform I've learned a lot from her in in just how to carry myself and discuss certain things, especially um, race issues, um, how to be a supportive white person mm -hmm. in such a pandemic and also such a social um, unjust world. You know, um, she really helped me navigate um, a lot of interviews and things that we had. Like, I just have nothing but amazing things to say about her. Um, and also, she's fucking fierce. Uh -huh. like, <laughs> Bob is an amazing drag queen. Yeah. Now, I don't know anything this girl can't do. Like, she'll literally just make up a rap about anything. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, one, she should be a rap artist. <laughs> Two, she doesn't touch anything that's not successful. Mm -hmm. And three, she's the, the, she's almost honest to where it hurts. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, she's definitely that sister that's like, no, girl, no, oh, this is wrong. Right. Let me tell you why it's wrong. <laughs> I love you, girl, but this is wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's really a, a cool relationship to have with somebody. Honestly, uh, my favorite, ex my favorite thing, honestly, and this is a crazy thing, but like uh, when we were in Branson, Missouri, it was so cold, and Bob decided to wear this like little leotard showgirl moment, and just she was freezing, and uh -huh. I know that's not something to like laugh at. But it was the funniest thing sometimes because Bob would just be like shivering and like her, her makeup team would be like running with blankets and trying to cover her up. And then of course my team would be running, undrapping a Slim Jim so that I could like <laughs> get a little food moment. Um, 
But it was also, it was just one of those moments that was fun. Like we would have to huddle, me, her, and Shangela would like huddle and like breathe on each other for a minute. And then we'd separate for the shot. Right. And we'd like huddle back together. So it was, it was a lot of fun. Also, uh, same episode, actually. Um, I, we were, we got on this like trolley thing and I was in these huge wings for my showgirl mama, and yeah. I had like stuffed up in here, and I was on the floor, on my knees, like all kinds of crazy. I'm like freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, I'm hurting. This is awful. Get me off of here. I'm like half crying. I get off this trolley. Bob literally just like stops me and grabs me. She's like, Eureka. And I'm like, what? I'm gonna look crazy. This whole town's gonna be like, oh my God, look at this crazy monster. They're gonna get me on camera. Oh. She was like, take a breath. And give me a hug. And Bob does not hug people. Yeah, he certainly so does she not. she pulled me in and she hugged me tight with her sock titties, honey. And it was, it was just a beautiful moment. Right. So that's probably my favorite moment of Bob. Love it. All right. Look at Ginger Minj, your woman behind bars co-star. The Minj, honey. You know, honestly, I have had my ups and downs with Ginger Minj. Not because of me, I don't think. I think it was like fans tried to pin us against each other. Uh -huh. When I first came out on the scene, it Because seemed, why, you both were big girls? Or? Yes. Okay. It's very that. You know, it's very like... It's sad, but we live in a culture where a lot of times it's like there's only room for one big girl at a time. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like there's only one big girl that's booked for the for the tour. Right. There's always only one big girl on the on the season at a time. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? There's always like we've painted this picture of just like room for one big girl. Right. When really there's room for all of us. Yeah. You know, and so I think that's been our job to like teach the fans and teach people that there's plenty of room for all of us. But honestly, I have to say, she was such an incredible person to work with on Women Behind Bars because she's such a good actress. Um, like, she she didn't have the biggest role, but I'll tell you, I always looked forward to her monologue because she made me tear up every time she did it. It was just this monologue about, you know, um, not being able to fly anymore, and she played this cuckoo character anyway. But at the ending, she's just like, so I just don't, I don't fly no more because no one cares no how. And just that line every night would make me tear up. Mm. But she's so good. Plus, her husband is amazing. Yeah. CJ, uh -huh. like working, he did like so much social media stuff for us, like sold our merch. Like they are quite the duo, uh -huh. to be honest. And I'm just like, bitch, I need me a drag husband like this. Yes. Uh -huh. Every drag queen needs a drag husband like CJ Russell. I'm telling you that. Fantastic. I'm telling you that. Okay. And I hear he's a top. A what? And I hear he's a top. I hear CJ's a top. I mean, he has to be, right? Bloop. Well, <laughs> I mean, he has hope. to be, girl. Let's be real. I don't see Ginger Minj climbing up on that child's back and giving it to him. This thing. Hello, children. You're welcome.